and we've got a K100 here with a, with a Wenger loader. And you're making, what parts are you making on the machine? Are these parts here, right? So these are the taper roller bearings that we manufacture. Um, so we will do these in tens of thousands batch quantity. Um, tens of thousands? Have you ever seen a machine on the shop floor that's 22 years old? Well, there's one here right now. It's a Kellenberger, it's a grinding machine, and you guys make bearings. And what was this machine making 20 years ago? And what is it making today? Uh, it's actually making the exact same parts 20 years ago as what it is today. Um, we are still grinding bearings to an accuracy of around five microns, if not better on these kind of machines. Um, this machine runs, um, repeats within three microns on the job it's running at the moment. And that is amazing for a 20 year machine. It's still going, it's the first CNC you ever bought. Um, and, but the company were at HB Bearings in Honley, it's 50 years old. Now what did you start doing and what are you doing now and where does it, buying a CNC machine fit into that journey? Well, we initially started out modifying bearings as a company um, and then we made a decision to move into manufacturing of bearings um, and then we, we noticed the trend of the, um, the accuracy requirements of our customers, the delivery times, the um, batch quantities were all increasing so we, we, we made the choice of moving into CNC manufacture. And if you have a quick look around the rest of the shop, these are all Kellenberger grinding machines and We'll have get Tom having a quick look on the second shot here. So we've got a lovely uh, bearing here. This is uh, a two-part here, and it's you've got you said there's been a 10, 5, 10 micron tolerance on these, and these machines have been going for such a long time. And they're holding great tolerances. Let's keep going though, because we've got these are all Kelvista uh, Kellenberger machines, but you've got another machine here that you've recently purchased. Now this is a K10 from Kellenberg. Come up, come up here, Darren. Um, and what is this machine for? And why did you feel the need to purchase another CNC? Well, we, um, we decided to buy this machine um, to, to complement the production of our standard products now uh, with the Gammy bearings, the taper roller manufacturers. Um, this machine offered us the opportunity um, to streamline that side of production. The, the repeatability of this machine is, uh, we're finding it's one, one micron repeatability. One micron it's, repeatability. It's fantastic. Oh the bearings, when they're in operation, are super precision bearings. So they need to be accurate to within half a micron. So we needed the machine as capable of producing it as, as what we try and sell the bearings. So. That is amazing. So a micron repeatability, you get half a micron run out on the bearings, on the gamma bearing. And it must be so hard to achieve those. So not once, but day in, day out. I mean, what kind of volumes do you produce these true precision bearings in? Um, we produce these bearings from, from one offs up to um, in the region of 100 off batches. Um, so and they're really bespoke. I mean, do you remember, I remember you saying there's a there's a ridiculous bore range. What was the bore range you guys produced the bespoke bearings? To? We on the Gamay side alone, it's 25 millimeter bore up to 700 meter uh, 700 millimeters OD, and on the HB bespoke bearings, we do six millimeter bore up to one meter OD, which is absolutely tiny to a yeah, meter so, wide. Yeah. I mean, obviously you can't fit a one meter bearing on this machine. But what is this K10 going to be used for and what's so special about having a new machine? Why can't you put it on one of the Kel Vistas? Um, the additional machine just gave us so much more capacity. Um, it, let, it lets keep up with its customer requirements. Um, it's actually letting us get ahead, ahead of our customer requirements now. Um, so we're building up good stock quantities, um, shorter lead times and again the accuracy of the parts we can get them right first time. And it absolutely amazes me what you can achieve with these grinding machines. Let's continue, if we keep, uh, keep going on Darren. And it's a lovely machine shop. You've got a lot of manual grinders still, haven't you, haven't you, Darren? Yes. And what, what, why do you still have manual grinders? Why is there a split between CNC and manual? We still use the manual grinders for the one-off jobs that we do, the bespoke grinding. The real bespoke Yeah, stuff. the real bespoke. And that's what people know HB for, the real... I mean, you were talking about F1, F1 bearings you had in stock for like a 60-year-old car. And yes. you do a lot of really old vintage stuff, really interesting old cars. Yeah, we do a lot of um, vintage machining, um, reverse engineering, bespoke bearings that we do that just simply don't lend themselves to CNCs. So we do keep a manual machine shop going. Um, but for our production side, the, the CNCs um, was definitely the correct way to go. They have they moved our company forward so, so much over the last 20 years. And over the last three or four years, especially the new K10, the K100, our production has, has skyrocketed really. With Absolutely, that. so bespoke bearings over there on the manuals, but the, the real high volume stuff, which is the Gamay, which is the standard products, it's yeah. all about being made on uh, CNC machines, but then the next step is automation. And we've got a K100 here with a, with a Wenger loader. 
And you're making, what parts are you making on the machine? Are these parts here, right? So these are the taper roller bearings that we manufacture. Um, so we will do these in tens of thousands batch quantity. Um, tens of thousands? Tens of thousands. Oh my God. So that's why you've got this grid plate here that holds, you see kind of the shot blaster finish, get in, get in it on the shot blasted finish that will then be ground afterwards. Yes, yeah. So they come back from the heat treatment in this condition and then we finish grind them um, through the through the Lenga loader system onto the K, K100. Um, and these are ground to accurate and repeating within one micron. Absolutely, you can see here there's a box full of full of them that are bang on 11 millimeters, which is absolutely fantastic. But it's not just about the accuracy of the machine, the automation side as well. Is this the first loader that you guys invested in? Um, it's the second automated loader that we've had, um, but we, we had to modernize um, again and get, get the repeatability, the confidence in the manufacturing. So when, when we saw what was available from Kellenberger, from Wenger, it was the obvious choice for us because we had to move forward and we had to make sure that we could deliver for our customers. And you can imagine there's a lot of people who are grinding accurate pins or accurate bearings, accurate rollers, and they're probably still putting them in maybe a centerless grinder or a manual machine when they could actually be loading up a massive plate like this and they could be running it for overnight or even over the weekend. Yes, yeah, it is, it is um, a lights out system that um, we, we, we'll never look back from. Well, now we've got and it. you're we'll never going to look back from the lights out system, but it's not just about the automation. What I love is the beautiful machine here. Now, some people question if you invest in automation, you need to make sure it's running almost 24 seven, but you guys don't do that because sometimes you might want to do a one-off. Can you tell me about how you spec the machine up and how that helps you with um, doing more bespoke part jobs as well as the, the thousands and thousands of quantities? Yeah, so when we, when we ordered this machine, we, it came with the left and right hand wheel as standard, and then we specified it with um, with the internal wheel as well. So we can just turn the automation side off and use it as um, a standard universal grinding machine. So we can do one-offs as well as the mass production on the same machine. And why do you need that flexibility? Why can't you just rely on having those contracts to make all, all the, the standard products to make all of those roller bearings? Um, generally, we move to our customer requirements. So if a customer comes on and wants a bearing in the next week and this machine is available at that time, the flexibility means that we have to we have to move to our customer requirements. Brilliant, and, and we've seen through the whole shop that you've you've got a real trust in Kellenberger as a as a reliable machine tool, but also to help you modernise. Now, why do you think you can rely on Kellenberger for the whole 20, 22 years, and do you think you can rely on them in the future as well? Well, they've been here for the last twenty years, so we're expecting the same again. Um, our shop floor operators, they're all well used to their machines, their operating system. They all know the way around them, so it's, there's no reason for us to start looking elsewhere. Everybody's happy on them. Um, the support we get when we do have issues, uh, we've never been able to find a fault with any, any kind of support we've had. And if you could sum up um, Kellenberger as a brand, as a machine tool, as a machine builder, what would you say? Um, perfect for us. You get it there, perfect for HP bearings and probably a lot of bearing manufacturers out there like you. If you're making loads of roller bearings, maybe you should be checking out automation. Have a look at Kellenberger if you haven't already.